will it work? Will it work? Oh. Come on, dude. You just keep on doing it already. Maybe. Greetings! It's Farmer Son Prepping here. Uh, so today, my little silver purchase came in. Just got it in the mail. This is today is Saturday, August whatever. I don't even know what the date is. Let's open it up. See what we got. But first off, let me just say, I don't even know if you can see my face or not because uh, I'm on the opposite end of the camera. I can't see myself. Uh, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not telling anybody to stack silver. This is something I think I need to do. It helps me save money. Uh, it's easier for me to save silver coins and bars than it is to save cash because I'll spend cash. Alright. YouTube has been warned. Let's open this puppy up right here and see what we got. Maybe, baby. Maybe, baby, baby. Hope y'all are doing well today. A beautiful Saturday. Hot, of course. August. I was hoping they'd send me another thing. Okay. So, I think that's just paperwork in there. That'll be okay. They sent me, uh, these are the bars, I think, that I bought. So, we'll do the coins first, or the uh, rounds. Because so these aren't coins. I used to stack silver, uh, American Eagles, but uh, they want too much of a premium on those, so I don't stack those anymore. But I do have a few in my collection, which I will show y'all here in just a minute. Oh, nice. I got peanuts all in them. Look, styrofoam peanuts. They know how to pack stuff. That's a good sound. I like that sound right there. That's a little test. If it makes the right sound. Okay. So awesome. These are just stamped J and M bullion. Three nines fine. One ounce of silver. It's got an eagle on the other side. Pretty cool. I will show you these in just a moment. I'm going to get them all down here on my little mat, and then I'll pick up the phone and show show y'all what they look like. I don't, dog, I don't know what your problem is, son. You need to go on now. So, there is those. And now we'll uh, get the bars out here. Out of the packaging. Oh, they're gonna slip out. It looks like. Anyway, try to be careful. The silver in here. I think silver is easier for me to save. I think I just said that a while ago, but uh, I started uh, looking at coins and stuff when I worked retail at a store one time. Uh, oh, nice. These are, uh, oh, in the world. Oh, cool. These are encapsulated. Uh, I'll show you all these in just a second. I was working retail, and I started finding, like, wheat pennies or Indian head pennies in the tray at, you know, in the cash register. Well, I take a penny out, a penny is a penny to that to that place. So I took the Indian head penny out and replaced it with one of my pennies, and I started collecting coins that way. Uh, 
and that's kind of what started this whole thing with uh, with coin collecting coins and that type of stuff. So, okay, let me grab the camera here. Sorry, y'all. Now then, see, this way I can actually see what I'm showing y'all. Here is one of my silver eagles. This one is a 2015. This will allowed to be a long video. So, uh, flip it. Silver eagle. These are what the, the, the high premiums are on now. Uh, and so that's of 2015. These are 2020 Silver Eagles, all these four right here. Then this right here, I think. Yes. This is the coin I won from Alaska Prepper. It's a 1974 one ounce silver coin commemorating the Alaskan pipeline, I believe. So always remember getting that from him and these are the new ones that I just got these are the J&M they have an eagle on one side and they're just uh, stamped J&M on the other this these are what you call generic silver rounds and uh, I've, that's what I've really gotten into now is the generic silver. These are the bars I just bought, the ones I just unpackaged. These are one ounce. Sorry, I was hard doing stuff one-handed. The one ounce silver bars. Three nines fine silver. So, you know, nothing special about them. But uh, you get you you get on generic silver, you get a better price. You don't have a premium, or if you do, it's not much of one. You know, fifty cents a dollar, whatever. Not a whole lot of premium on those. Over here, I have some constitutional silver. This is a sixty-four Kennedy half dollar. I don't know if I focus in on that. We got some mercury dimes here, some buffalo nickels. And this one right here is a very special coin. It's one of my faves. If the camera will focus on it. Which it looks like it will not. There we go. 1885 Morgan Silver Dollar. These are 90% silver. All this constitutional stuff is 90% silver. And I believe the other uh, percentage would be copper and something else. And just some of the other coins I've collected. Uh, I've got some mint packs right here. These are sealed. Mint State 60, I believe. Uh, these are from the Danbury Mint. These are the... Uh, when they first come out with the golden dollars, these are uncirculated Mint State 60 golden dollars uh, here. Yeah, from the Danbury Mint. The... One of these is George Washington's, and one is, okay, so there's the George Washington one right there, and who is that? Anyway, it's another president, I just, the presidential golden dollars, and I have some more over here, some of these, that's a Sacagawea dollar, Native American uh, Andrew Jackson. These are just some more of my collection. These are all uncirculated 60 is the grade on these. And then you got some, uh, you know, copper stuff. Uh, these are coro uh, Corona uh, COVID-19. <laughs> you can just get them with just about anything on them. These are COVID-19 rounds. Uh, my favorites of these are the Morgan copies, but they're, you know, they're not silver. Uh, they're copper instead. And I think this is a, uh, yep. So, this is kind of a copy of a Mercury Dime, the Winged Liberty, supposedly. That's what's on the back of a uh, Mercury Dime. Of course, Mercury Dime Silver, though. 
So, just kind of showing you around some of my collection. I've got way more constitutional silver. I've got bags of it, y'all. But I wasn't going to pour bags of stuff out here. Uh, so, it's just kind of my savings plan. Uh, this stuff here, you can barter with it. I don't call this stuff junk silver. I call it constitutional silver because there are key dates in this stuff that are actually that actually have premiums there are key dates in here that have premiums so not all of it's junk and if it ain't all junk then i call it constitutional silver but that's just me uh so that's what i wanted to show y'all a little part of my collection here uh and unbox the new stuff uh, i'm really liking these bars i like the way they look this is the first bars I've ever purchased here, so I'm liking the bars, I'll tell you that. So, uh, anyhow, if you're a silver stacker, hey, get down in the comments and say, hey, I do this too. I can kind of, I can kind of understand. Uh, there you go. We got eight new, uh, eight more ounces of silver added to the collection today. That's the Morgan. J&M with the eagle on the other side. And another thing, if, you, if you're going to be a silver stocker or whatever it is you want to call it, be sure you test your silver. There are ways to test it. You, you'll just have to look it up. I'm not going to go through all the ways to test it. But uh, I did show you the ping test earlier, but uh, that's just one way of knowing. Uh, you can magnet test it as well. Uh... So, all right, y'all. I've uh, rattled on long enough. Uh, just going to sit back and admire my little part of my collection here. Uh, God bless you all as my prayers. This farmer son prepping. And I uh, hope you have a good Saturday and a good Sunday tomorrow. Bye-bye.